Hello and welcome back to my kitchen where tonight we are eschewing the old fat reliable slow cooker and we are trying something different. I've got a wok heating here on the hob and we're going to try and make a fish curry. It's a recipe I've sort of pinched from a restaurant I used to work at. Really simple, which is a bit of white fish, vegetables, tomato, curry paste, all sorts, just to make something quite light, zesty and fresh and easy to deal with. So uh, let's get started. Um, obviously first off we've been preheating some oil in the pan so that's up at a nice sort of sizzling temperature and over here we have um, just a bevy of vegetables really that I've pre-prepared because no one really wants to watch me just chop vegetables so here we have it going from this side we've got carrot, mushrooms, spring onions, white onions and two finger chilies and just chopped up really and what we're going to do is we're going to stick them in the pan And we're just going to leave these to sizzle away in this sort of ripping hot pan and just give them a chance to start to soften up, especially the carrots. We don't want too firm a carrot in this curry. So. Leave them to sizzle away. I think we might need to add a little bit more oil there. So while they soften up, I'll just grab our fish. And what we have here are two bassa fillets. Um, sort of like sea bass, but slightly, somewhere between sea bass and cod, really. Uh, meaty fish, we've got some really nice white streaks down here. This is a nice bit of fat that we're hopefully going to be able to get to sort of perfectly melt through the meat. But that won't be going in for a few seconds longer. So fish is already ready. Season that off with a bit of freshly ground black pepper. And we'll chuck in a bit of one of my all time favourite seasonings. This is called Kucharek. I usually refer to it as Vegeta. We're we'll trying to get that in focus on the camera. Um, you get it in like the European aisles on Tesco's. Oh, well, actually, no, it's the 31st of January, isn't it? I don't know if you'll be able to get this in Tesco's anymore. Concerning. Either way, great stuff, really good all purpose vegetable seasoning. Um, it's got a nice twist of garlic to it as well, so for doing pasta dishes, it's brilliant. And for doing curries as well, curries and chili con carnies really benefit from having a bit of garlic thrown in. Um, like with most curries, we're going to serve this with a side dish of rice. So we uh, need to fill the kettle and boil off some water and start our rice off.
So the next real step in making our curry is going to be making it quite a nice rich tomato sauce. That's what we're going to be looking to try and generate in this. And the way we're doing that is with some chopped in tomatoes, which we've got a tin of those, some tomato paste or puree. It's called puree on there. I call it paste, same real thing. And this, I picked up in the supermarket. I've never used it before. It's sort of a chili paste. And we're going to put a blob of that in there to try and give it a bit of punch and liveliness. I'm also going to try and find, I've got some chopped dried tri chilies floating around in my spices tins up there. So we'll fast forward this bit of the tape while I go up here. So our chopped tin tomatoes have left us with quite a sort of fine, almost, I don't want to say watery, but very thin curry sort of sauce. And we're going to, uh, easy way of thickening that up is using our curry paste, so. Good squirt of that and we should be nice and thick. So we've now got a saucepan full of boiled water, or we'll bring it back up to the boil, keep it a nice rolling boil. We'll just do boiling the bag rice. I am a student. I am on a budget. Um, we'll leave the vegetables to simmer away for a bit, and we're going to put in a bit of this chili puree. We'll see what this is like. See how potent it is. put in roughly a tablespoon, we'll see how that goes.
Um, key trick to finding out how spicy something is, taste test it. Just use a spoon, one of them, teaspoon, nice clean one. Uh, take a bit out the side and see what it's like. Now that's actually quite mild at the start of the palate and brings on quite a sweet but gentle sort of punch later through on. I quite like that. So hopefully as we leave it to simmer and the flavours to get to know each other in here, we've obviously got the finger chilies and now our chilli puree and our crushed chilies. Um, those flavours will start to mix together nicely, uh, especially once we introduce the fish. Hopefully some of that flavour will imbue into the fish as well. One of the key things, because this is sort of a Thai red curry, is um, serving it with an appropriate drink, which I think has to be a um, proper beer, really, in this case. So I've gone for, what is it, Singha. It's a, the Thai beer. Everyone knows what Singha is. So um, I'm, this has been in the fridge. This is already nice and cold, but I like mine sort of icy, fresh, cold, zesty, nice and cold. So we're going to whack this in the freezer. just so we've got a nice cold beer. So the next ingredient we're going to pop into our curry is, we're not actually into the curry, what we're going to do is we're going to pop it in with the rice, is this. It's, um, hold it a bit close to the camera for you. Come focus on this, focus on this magic camera, there we go. This is um, lemongrass, and what we're going to aim to do is just um, take off the outer layer so it's nice and clean, and then we're going to sort of split it and pop it in the boiling water where we're going to cook our rice just to give the rice a bit of a different flavour that way we've got several different flavours going on in the plate so uh, we'll just prep this we'll swap back to like hob cam I suppose and you can watch that while I cut this So here we have it, we've got our lemongrass, I've just sort of run it down to quarters but kept the stump sort of together. I'm just going to cut it off at the bottom of it so we've not got the sort of bottom bottom. So now we've taken the butt off of it, we've got it nicely fanning out and what that's going to do is just bring a little bit of lovely light and vibrant flavours to both our curry and our rice. So we'll just pull it in half actually. So.
And like I said, because we are doing this on a student budget, we have boil in the bag rice. Boil for 10 minutes, you get pretty decent rice every time around. So uh, we've got our boiling water. In goes the rice, and we'll set the time for... Ten minutes. Right, so our rice is boiling away, bubbling away quite nicely. We've got lemongrass in there. Smells quite nice. And in the back pot, of course, we have our curry sauce, which we'll just take a look at. The vegetables are nice and soft. The flavors have been marinating in there for a couple of minutes. Now it's time to put in the fish. So we'll just get the lid out of the way. And like I said, we're not using a fancy fish, we're using just a cheap fish, easier from the supermarket. We've got bassa, uh, it's sort of like cod, I suppose, nice white fish, quite flaky, but a lot of um, fat. You can see the sort of thicker white section, especially running through here on this bit. And um, what we really want is for that to sort of tenderize and work its way through the flesh and give us a nice sort of soft flaky fish. And what we're simply going to do is just slap it down on the curry sauce, put the lid over the top and leave it to almost steam in the curry sauce's steam. And in six minutes time, we should have some nice cooked curry fish. So here we are, we've served up, we've dished out, we've got our rice, a little bit of lemongrass on top, we've got the fish and our sort of vegetable curry medley thing. Everything is here, everything is currently also in the shadow of my massive cold brew coffee maker, which is full of coffee, ready for tomorrow. But anyway, here we go, let's find out what this tastes like. I don't know why I started with the rice. The rice is just rice, really. But let's have a look at this fish. Just gently pulls apart. We've got a bit of lemongrass there. Mm. Oh. The fish is the first thing you taste when you bite into the fish. It's wonderfully sort of fresh, but de delicate, meaty taste that white fish has. But it's followed by this wonderful, not quite overwhelming punch of heat that comes from the crushed chilies that are sort of scattered on top and the chilies that are in the sauce as well. And when you mix it with just a little bit of this sort of veg medley, the fish just breaks away from the main body. I mean, it's so soft. And when you chew on it as well, it's flaky and crumbles in your mouth per perfectly. Mm. Mm. 
so there with the sort of savoury flavour of the fish you've got the sweetness of that bit of carrot in there and then the final taste you get going through your mouth is this whirlwind from that chilli paste I really like that I'm going to buy more of that and use that again mm. no that is fantastic oh mm. this took the best part of half an hour to prepare and make there or thereabouts oh and of course it wouldn't be curry really would it if we didn't have a beer we've got a singha out of the fridge now that is a winning combination enjoy <laughs> 